Ooh, I smell a profit. No, just kidding, guys. So, anyways, uh, just joking all aside. I want to let you guys know that I got monetized, which is great. So, thank you all for all your support. And now you'll see little commercials, and I can make money off my channel, and we can make some gold pressed latinum together. So, any money that gets generated from this uh, little teeny channel will just go back into maybe getting some software to make better videos and things of that nature. Um, I'm going to show you guys a video I kind of created to kind of tell you some of the things I'm going to be doing with the channel with this next coming, uh, you know, uh, the end of this year and next year. Um, I'm going to be trying to uh, focus out some different stuff and uh, I want to show you some of my old videos and things so you guys can go back and look at them. I've monetized just about everything that I can or I'm allowed to. Um, so we'll see how things go and I will keep you guys updated with the profits that I would make from my gold press latinum. So Quark will obviously be helping me with this and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey all my Trek Wars fans, I want to thank all 1,500 of you guys. <laughs> 142 videos. So you guys see I got a bunch of videos. So the reason I'm letting you guys know is I got some really good news is I got monetized. So now I can actually make money off my channel. So I, I just so you guys know, I, I had a previous channel that has nothing to do with Star Trek and I actually had a pretty large channel. Um, but that channel is gone now. And so I always wanted to do a Star Trek channel. So I actually started using some of my techniques um, into this Star Trek channel. But if you guys want uh, I just want to let you guys, the main reason I'm telling you guys this is I want you guys to know that you'll see commercials and things like that because uh, we made it to that 1,000 mark, which is awesome. So I can, like, you know, have commercials and stuff and make money on my videos, I guess. So most of my videos, because I use a lot of, like, images that are live and sounds and stuff, like the, I have copyright claims. So I won't put any monetization on them, but the ones that don't have that, I did. Um, a lot of them are older videos, so... If you guys want, you can go back to some of those old videos and stuff. And I did a lot of weird stuff back in the day. Like, we'll just kind of look at Star Trek. So, I had like, you know, I don't know, the, the Gorn. And then I talk about like Star Trek ships and stuff. And it's kind of interesting. If you guys uh, want to go back and look at that stuff, I'd very much appreciate it if you have the time. And you can see the what I was doing back in the day, you know, three years ago, and then looking at the stuff that I have now. So you'll see the evolution of data that I had, you know, compared to what I have now. And then, you know, here's some of my things. Like I have a battle, I, I, I have a, the Battlestar Galactica game, and I want to talk about Battlestar Galactica ships, but I want to finish all my Star Trek ships, and then I'll do Battlestar and Babylon 5 and other stuff later. Um, I do have some weird series where I had a Star Trek versus Star Wars, which was just kind of something I threw together. It was kind of fun if you guys want to look at that. And then if you really want to have a good time, have a good laugh, I actually had a section for a while. I was thinking about, like, check this out, talking about different Star Trek ships oh, and then talking about different kind of beers. And so I tell you the alcohol content and what I think of the taste, and then I talk about the Starship. Really goofy. Did not go well at all. As you can see, it's got no views. It's completely dead. Um, obviously, it was a horrible idea, but I just think it's kind of funny. And then I have uh, Star Trek ship fight scenes. If you guys want to make Star Trek videos, you can go into here, and then you can look at other people's uh, saved fight scenes and stuff, and you can talk about them or use them in your videos or whatever. <clears throat> and then I have... Um, Star Wars uh, versus Star Trek. I originally wanted to make the channel a verse thing. And you can see some of those did pretty good. Um, I used to talk about like, you know, the MC-80 versus the Ambassador class and stuff. And it was uh, kind of like this uh, death battle thing. Uh, it was pretty cool. I liked it. I think I'll go back to doing that once I get all my uh, data tables done. Because I'm actually... the. The data table stuff that I do with the Star Trek ships, I actually converted formulas... For Star Wars. So. Later on after I, I finish my Star Trek ships. And when we get complete. Um, I will start doing Star Wars again. But that won't be till quite a bit later. So I just want to kind of give you guys an idea. Of like what I'm doing with my channel. And then obviously you can make some comments. And some suggestions like. 
<clears throat> I am going to, before I do anything else, I'm going to finish all the major ships for the Dominion, the Cardassians, and the Klingons, and then the Romians. And then once I get done with that, that way, you know, we can have a basis of what I'm talking about. I want to go back and start doing my verse uh, battle stuff. But for right now, I'll start doing those Star Trek. And the main reason, like, I'm doing that is I want to get the data tables as accurate as possible. So I purchased, like, the Star Trek channel. And so I've been re-watching the videos and then getting additional information. So if you see videos that come out that are newer... Those have up-to-date data forms or data tables. Anything that you see that's older and stuff, I disregard what's there because that's just what I had at the time. And, you know, I didn't have the movies. I didn't have the episodes. I was having to go go back and do other people's screenshots and stuff and watch them and slow them down, that kind of stuff. And, you know, people cut things out and stuff. You don't, you don't realize it when you don't have the original. So, yeah. So I think it's really cool. Uh... Let's go home. So you can see some of my videos and stuff, you know, I've got going on. Like, obviously, uh, my new Divin Dominion fighter is obviously more up-to-date because I don't even remember what I said about the other ones. But and then I got my little, you know, video shorts and stuff. And so that's what we're doing. You know, this is just uh, kind of that you guys know the different things that I'm doing. And that's it. Yeah, so I really appreciate everyone checking out Track Wars. You know, it means a lot to me. I really like doing this. It's really fun having, like, other Star Trek fans to talk to. It's really cool. I love reading your guys' comments, you know, especially, like, when you guys say things to me that, um, corrections. And I, I know a lot of people get mad and get irritated or something about that kind of stuff. I actually, because I like data tables, when you tell me something that you don't think is correct and I can review it, I love it when you guys find something that's a mistake and tell me about the mistake. Like, for an example, I kept on saying, like, ablative or abrasive armor i can't remember what i was saying but it's not what i it is i wasn't saying it correctly for i don't know why i was saying it wrong but people were like hey it's ablative armor <laughs> not abrasive and then so it's just kind of funny like i do goofy things and you guys catch me and correct me so it's really awesome so thank you guys all especially those who make comments peace out